Okay, so last night I ended up heading out for a couple of drinks at Pla's bar with Pla and some of the girls there and we got to chatting and because tonight is our last night in Nang for this trip we're heading back to Phuket tomorrow they uh, they want to put us on a bit of a, a party on a bit of a little going away party and not just that but <laughs> she ended up teeing a whole day out for us so uh, between three cars there's going to be about 12 12 or 15 of us all heading out for the day to a couple of great locations getting hit up some uh, waterfalls I think they said and check those out. Come back for lunch. Uh, she's going to uh, cook us a special lunch at her house uh, with all the girls there as well. And I told her I like spicy food, so she said, okay, I'll make you cry. That's how spicy it's gonna be. <laughs> and then later on tonight, we're gonna head back to her bar and across two of her bars that she's got. We, uh, we're going to have a couple of signature shots and cocktails that she's going to put on just for us tonight uh, all the girls are going to be working tonight it's just going to be this massive party and we hooked them all up with a bunch of uh, azudu merch and uh, t-shirts right guys just finished lunch at Plas place which is behind me here um i wasn't going to take the camera in and you know in someone's house and do that it's a bit rude but um i wish you could have seen it it was amazing we had pork plat de prao, omelette, very spicy papaya salad, and pork tom yum, or tom yum pork. It was amazing. Everything loaded with chili, just like she promised, <laughs> which I love. Uh, and now we're heading back, got the bikes, grabbed Alice from the room, it's still a bit under the weather, uh, and we're gonna take the cars and head off, so catch in the car. Sorry guys, already out of the car. I uh, just arrived here. You can have a look at that behind me. I'll do this one word at a time. Thanbok Korani. National Park. Thanbok Koradi National Park. I'm going to speed that up in, in post later. Just arrived. Uh, the first lot of car, uh, the first car load got here uh, about, I think, 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. So the girls just got a drink while they waited for us. It's about a 35 minute trip from our Neng, where we're staying, uh, inland. And I'll just turn around here. You can see this way where the entrance is into the National Park. Just those huge limestone cliffs. And in fact, you can actually see them uh, essentially all around, which is really beautiful. Now, one thing we need to double check on is because it's a national park, we have to see if we're allowed to fly the drone. Uh, second thing is, <laughs> I wanna see what the difference is in price for entry free between the ladies who are all Thai nationals and Mandela's who are foreigners. But let's have a look. This way. What do we got here, Dale? Oh, the shots, just photos of the king when he was a young man. Many photos. At first I thought it was when he was here, but it's from all over different places. A bit of a monument then. Yeah. All right, we have the answer to one of our questions. <laughs> bit of a price difference, is there, Dale? Not as big a gap, though. <laughs> oh, no. English. Find it, but it's. Uh, phew, I can read. <laughs> so here we've got the full price breakdown. So as you can see, you got the Thai adult 60 and children 30, whereas foreign adult 300 and foreign children 150. Nowhere near as much of a markup as yesterday's trip to uh, Emerald Pool, Emerald Lake. Blue Pool, Emerald Lake. Ah. Ah. Big fish. <laughs> wow. Not sure how well that's picking up on camera. Ooh. Some sort of big fish. If I didn't have the media mod on the GoPro, I could lower this into the water. But by the looks of it, it's the glare, the light glare off the water, which is uh, reflecting. I don't know how well, but these fish are huge. Man, I hope that comes out on camera. <laughs> Bit of a hazard going through. 
And here we are, entry to the park pathways. So guys, that is just about it for the National Park. I'm just having a little sticky beak at the moment, just trudging down the rest of this pathway, see where it leads, but I'm pretty sure it goes in one giant loop. Um, what have we got? We're sitting at about three o'clock now. I know the girls have to get back before five because most of them start work or they open the bar at five. So they usually get in, start to clean down and get everything set up and ready. And considering it takes about 35, 40 minutes to get back, they'll have to get ready for work and yeah, so I'd say this is the only stop for today, but it was definitely worth the trip out here. Just really beautiful. I love seeing a lot of these national parks. Obviously there's been, you know, human interference where pathways are being built or moved around or something. They do try every effort that they can uh, possibly do to make sure that most of the nature is completely preserved where it can be. And this place is just crazy. Like, look at this, like, you know, there's, um, there's these vines hanging down here from the cliff side there, or the, the rock side, whatever you call it. Um, you know, instead of chopping it there and clearing the path, they've let it go. And it's up to us to use our common sense to not trip on it. <laughs> My dad always used to say, common sense isn't that common. And it's 100% true. Okay, so I've got a bit of a fork in the pathway here so that way leads straight back to where we just came from where the girls are having a bit of a swim and this way I believe will take us all the way back around to the front and if you get confused at all there are signs throughout nature trail straight ahead take a right to the creek which is where the swimming section is um, it's really quite nice and cool all throughout here. I mean, getting out of the car in that parking lot was really, really bright, really hot. Sweat was coming on. The second we walked through here, under all this lush greenery, like the, I can see through the leaves, there's no clouds whatsoever. It's just direct sunlight. And you can probably see, yep, see like beaming sunlight in a gap, you know? But in the shade here, <laughs> among all of this, it's, it's so nice and actually you know cool there's no there's no breeze or anything but it's just really nice relaxing usually i work up a sweat just walking through some of these parks but it's it's so nice 
and it's got that clean water smell you can you can smell from the the running creeks all the way around just that freshness that in the air you know it doesn't there's no bad smells there's no uh oh, what's the best way to describe it you know coming coming out of the main area in our nang and you know you go through the traffic you can smell the smog you can smell the fumes you can smell a bit of the drainage and all that sort of stuff but here it's just water trees just fresh so nice huh. but guys i definitely recommend a trip here if you're ever visiting our Nang or Krabi. So we're going to throw the maps link in the description below on how to get here. Uh, I'll put all of the fees, the admission costs in there as well. And guys, if you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Please give us a thumbs up. You're doing us a huge favor. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. We've got tons more content just like this coming your way very soon. All right. I'm going to leave you with some nice, tranquil footage of creeks and, <laughs> and trees. I'm actually quite relaxed now. <laughs> but that's it. I'm going to close this one out. And we'll do some more filming tonight when we head to that party. <laughs> so guys, please stay tuned. I'll see you soon.